Okay, guys, I just started recording and the weirdest thing ever just happened. I can clip it, but I'll jump off the dragon. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna clip it. Oh, there's a tree. We need to get to the tree. And the reason we need to get to the tree is because it has hay bales on it. And there's also chickens there. And there's also cows. We'll leave the tree for a bit because there's no way someone's gonna go up there and take the hay bales. Um, but yeah, guys, welcome back to another Hoplite video. Now, I've recently been doing the horse strategy, and because it's kind of like a meme strategy, at the same time, it's a good strategy. Um, I haven't really been trying too hard when it comes to it. Like, it's a very lazy strategy. It's very easy to do. I can do it every single game. Um, and if I'm being honest, there's no real way for me to play Hoplite solo right now and, like, find it extremely enjoyable. Um, well, just enjoyable, not extremely enjoyable. But like, let's say if I just rush like a sharp two or something with an E-table, it feels kind of boring to me because it's like what you need to do to win the game, but I want to play in a fun way. But yeah, maybe I could try like trapping or something. I wouldn't do like an actual sweaty trap with like sticky pistons and everything, like really try my hardest to trap people. It would be kind of like a meme trap or like one that's built very poorly and I still managed to make it work. But yeah, by the time I'm uploading this video, Hoplite's probably already having an update or the season four update has been announced. And uh, I've been away this entire month, so I can't wait to get back. Well, I don't want to come back to England, if I'm being honest. <laughs> but um, when I come back, I really enjoy making videos again. Like, it feels nice to do that. So, um, yeah, hopefully there's a nice update waiting for me. And it's on the server right now. But it seems like someone's been in here, so i literally just going to get the hay bales and go down. And yeah, the only reason I get the hay bales is for the horse tamer boots and the horse healing. Okay, why did I think I was going to die there? But yeah, something I've asked the Hoplite admins to add is daily, monthly, and weekly stats to slash stats. So you're able to check uh, how well you're improving and how good you are now compared to your lifetime, etc. Because for example, I could play for a week and I could sweat every single game and I could probably get some really good stats. Um, but my lifetime stats aren't amazing for me at least and yeah I don't really want to talk about any updates because by the time I'm uploading this video There's probably already an update as well Another thing that's been happening in the community recently is people have been making these tier lists And I'm always so low in the tier lists and I believe I should be on like the lower half of a tier list I'm not gonna lie um, But so many of these people it's like they don't know who I am or like I d they don't know how I play the game and stuff they probably just have seen like a few of my videos and they've been like, this guy's a YouTube noob. Because I swear, I could go into like 100 games and I would beat, well, I'd win more games than like 90% of people on these tier lists. So I would say, in that way, I'm a really good player, but when it comes to PvP and stuff, sure. Someone that plays the game all the time is obviously going to be a lot better than me. Like, I'm not a sweat, just a YouTuber, you know? But I could sweat the game if I really wanted to. And if you guys want to see that, then you can watch the videos on my second channel. But yeah, I don't really even have videos of me sweating on there either. Maybe I should just low-key grind Hoplite, because I'm like 83rd on the leaderboards. And yeah, that's pretty crazy for how much I play the game. I've got like 63 wins or something, and I'm like 83rd. I don't know what top 10 is. I'm going to guess it's like over 300. So it would take a long time for me to do that. But... Yeah, maybe it's something I could try and go for, I don't know. And yeah, this strategy is literally so quick. Every single time I'm on the surface with a horse when it's like at least six minutes till PvP, which is so good. I love it. But people can just block up, hide, and then you don't really have a good chance. But the amount of people that don't do it, and they just kind of run around on the surface, Literally, you can get so many kills. Oh, there's a village. Ha! <laughs> See, you get so much time to just look around on the surface, especially when you're on a horse. So it can be very easy to find the stuff you need. But at the same time, you can just get that one unlucky game where you don't get anything. But I, literally every single time I've done this strategy, 90% of the time, I've ended up on a horse with a ton of arrows, with a bow, with a horse tamer boots. The bandit leggings is probably the one thing that is kind of rare and it's like the reason why it's so fun to do this strategy so if you don't get the bandit leggings it's a bit sad but it is what it is if there's gold in this blacksmith i'm gonna be very happy go on okay not bad and yeah we could get off the horse at zero zero go into the nether portal if it is there just get some golds and make the bandit leggings then we're pretty much ready leather or is it iron is it iron 
Please be iron. I think it is. Yeah. So we're going to get fully custom armor. We just need some gold. And this is the exact same thing I did in the other game. And I ended up with full diamonds. But I lost, unfortunately. Didn't have enough stuff. The horse isn't going to last very long if I keep running into cactus, though. Let's uh, get off this. I wouldn't be surprised if someone kills it. And then I'm going to be very sad if that happens. 60 seconds. Come on. Okay, I'm trying to do this by PvP because I want to be able to get back on the horse. Okay, 24. I need 20 more. Alright, that'll do. Let's go. Yeah, someone might have took it, someone might have killed it for leather. You never know. Ooh! Thank God. Okay. Who is that? Because we can kill that guy. <laughs> okay. This is really good. Quick, 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 quick. That's all we need. Bandit leggings. Uh, he's actually trading with him. No way. Free kill. Gonna get stacked. And a chest plate is the only armor piece I would actually sacrifice. Or use. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> no way. Okay. I just started swearing there, but... There's this thing where it's like people are five blocking your horse, which is really weird. That's fine. At least we're not dead. so many nuggets now I could have made a light and I just made a gap it's fine though Bro, he's trying to bait me I'm not gonna go down there with you all right Kazuka got a kill and it seems pretty close so he took no damage but he's probably getting cleaned by someone oh he's caving is it Kazuka he is 40 probably trapping because how the hell are you gonna do no damage to someone when you're in a cave with each other impossible Okay, Proyax is on 20, and the last time I hit him, he was on 28. So he's took 8 HP somehow. This guy looks like he's not going to have a shovel. Dang, that's cringe. Holy crap. <laughs> it is. I'm sorry. Get skill. Get skill? You haven't hit me. I'm flawless in you. What do you mean? I feel bad, though. This poor guy. Get skill, bro. Get good. I do want to heal my horse, but we don't have any horse healing other than hay bales. I mean, we've got nine hay bales. <laughs> I think it's worth just using one. But yeah, we're kind of camping this portal, and there's no one around, and we've got a clean biome, which is amazing. Like, if it was trees and stuff, it would have been awkward. I think they might have actually removed the one with the trees and the flowers everywhere. Probably been removed for a long time now when I'm uploading this video. Let's go. Do we have enough arrows? Would be good if we had more. That guy's going to lose. Either way, we're getting both kills, I think. Yep, team on me. I would actually prefer that. Hit that guy. Keep fighting him. Yes. <laughs> 21. We need to get this guy weak. Hit him once with a sword. Go back. Hit him once there, let this guy trade with him. Then we need to one-tap him with a bow, right here. So we can get the nuggets. No, you're a pussy. There we go. Don't care about the stuff. He can get all he wants! Stupid horse, bro! We need to find a new one now. Never been so satisfied killing someone. Alright, this guy's coming for me. The G heads there. Yeah, it's annoying the horse dying. If we can find another horse, it's no problem. Cactus chest plate, horse timber boots goes crazy. True. Oh, this is Miz. <laughs> I think she's gonna die. Is it Kazuka? He is. He's on 16. This guy has to have a lot of healing. Bro's still running in that straight line. Oh. Bro, what is this? Because <laughs> I have bad armor, people are going to be obsessed with going for me. 
<laughs> it's not even bad either. It's literally iron, iron, and iron. What do we do here? I think Miz is gonna die. They're on 12. This guy's on 15 though. He's obsessed. Like, this guy's just hard throwing his game for no reason. I've got this guy behind me with his keyboard sounds, smashing his keyboard. <laughs> He's trapping though. I know he is. And it sounds so I could easily fall for it. I think he's trapping anyway. Yeah, GG. At least we got diamond boots now instead of horse tamer boots. Somebody's over there. I think it might be Miz. She just died. Let's make two gaps here. Not a bad idea just to chill and make Ares blessings, but this guy could be weak. He's on full HP, never mind. I need another horse. No, no horse, no fun. We can make three Ares blessings. We've literally took like no damage. Absorption, pretty good. Dead bush, I mean, perfect for a desert. Speed two, okay. Chill, my friends, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> Who's this? This guy's new. I need his diamond sword. The real chicken. He's got kills, he's on 35, not worth it. So now I'm gonna try find a horse and then I'm gonna make a tracker pack and I'm gonna kinda go out towards the border and I'm going to use it as well. The fact I've got five kills literally perfect way to show this strategy like eventually your horse is gonna die to something stupid um or someone's just gonna bow it like a good player but you saw how many people just didn't have shovels or weren't blocking up and yeah you can just kill those players very easily if someone's blocking up as well you can just circle them and bow them and eventually they'll just get annoyed and probably try swinging for you and you can just kind of jump in the hole when they get weak um, but you have to be pretty good on a horse to be able to do that. Like, it's very hard to know the angles and stuff. That sounds very nerdy, but it's true. Like, you need to shoot to the side. You need to be moving around at the right times and all this type of stuff. As well, it's not a bad idea for me just to get some honey so we can make a fountain if we run out of healing. Like, if I have no G-heads and we're at the end of the game and I know someone's are gonna, like, gonna eat G-heads on me, I can just place a fountain, sit there, and wait for someone else to, like, interrupt. A tracker pack over here is, like, a guaranteed kill, I think. There has to be someone that's mining or just got to the surface. Like, 13 people left, there has to be someone quite bad. And Dany is on 13, but we don't really care. As long as I can get diamond armor in deathmatch somehow, just, like, like picking people's loot, it's fine. Let's, uh, quickly make this. Let's place it down. It really goes that way? That's so annoying. I don't know if I want to follow that. So Dany plays is obviously the guy we need to be careful of. Did he kill the person who he was fighting? Doesn't really seem like he's killed anyone. And this guy with the magma club? Not back. He must have killed the guy we were bone at the start. We're in for a very sweaty deathmatch. Kieran just killed the real chicken and he's on 12. Okay, these definitely need horse tamer boots. Now Kieran just killed the real chicken who we saw before who had kills, so Kieran is going to be drained. There's an E table? Okay. Alright, someone just gave her the portal. What is that timing? Oh, I shouldn't have shot so early, because now he's just going to go back through. Never mind. Okay. The fawns is pretty annoying. Because I feel like it's the horse taking... Am I going to get fawns every time I shoot him? I was going to say. This is actually worth crafting, by the way, if you're in a desert. Oh, we killed him pretty quick. Someone else just got to kill over that way as well. Oh, I forgot to put the bandit leggings on. No. Imagine that's like a decider. And now we lose the game. That's a fawns book. Bro was trying to make fawns too. Protection three, huge. All right, two people are fighting down to one HP. Um, and I'm pretty sure Dany is just going to win this game very easily because he killed not back and he's on full. So they must have died to him pretty easily. We just got a fire aspect book off the floor. So that means he's going to have a fire aspect, I think, because that's where he just killed someone. There's no way I'm going into deathmatch with sharp one diamonds, <laughs> even though it's fire aspect it's so bad. Protection is fine. Gonna have to just make a shit ton of boots. Yeah, we've got four minutes till deathmatch. If I find someone now, it's not even worth fighting them. Unless we're a noob. Which is pretty impossible. Like, there is five people which aren't gonna be good. But Dany and Kieran. 
are gonna be stacked and they're probably the only people in this area so let's do this prop two first and then we need to we need to get another sharpness book or we need to get two more sharpness books actually oh there's someone I swear i just saw someone and they have a grindstone is it Danny? i think it is so he's gonna have like full prop three let's leave him Need to enchant my own stuff. I've got three minutes to get two sharpness books. This is going to be really difficult to do. Can I get one more sharpness book? Yes, we can. So, sharpness, sharpness. Yeah, the only problem is my armor is terrible. Like, he's going to have full prop three diamonds. <laughs> and I'm here with a cactus chestplate and bandit leggings. So, big, big difference in what we have. I think I have to pop this speed as soon as I get close to Danny. And he's right there, so I'm just going to do it now. And there's another full diamond, it's Kieran. Okay. Oh, these irons are gonna die. I need to get kills, maybe. Let's get blocks. Alright, we don't care. Let's get out. I'm taking too much damage fighting them. I've got four diamonds, I need three more for leggings. See, my armor is just too bad for this, which is really unfortunate. Unless I can clean them, it's not really going to be possible to win this. This guy has our diamond armor we need. No way. Please just tell me. This guy leaves me alone. I think Kirin is smart enough to not go for me here. But obviously he could try and take the loot. Protection. Give me a protection book right now. No balls. I don't know why I enchanted that. I'm dumb. Pro 3. Pro 3 thorns. Five levels. Oh. What is this? It would be so funny if this is Miz's Midas from the start of the game. It can't be. That guy probably spent most of his game trying to craft it. Okay. Kieran is getting very low. I need to go help him. Not in a teaming way, but I need to clean. Okay, there they are. That absorption is only for a minute. Let's go for this guy. I feel like he's more stacked. How the hell have we gone from bandit leggings and all those shitty armor pieces to being this stacked? It's crazy. Absorption for 20 seconds. I'm sure we can use it. The border's closing in. Alright, he died with G-heads. go 11 kills with that strat that's so good hope you guys enjoyed it see you later